What's up, dudes and dudes to the year and I'm on and Seth, and we are finally back again for the Trove on Xbox One. Haha, -ha, you didn't know that this wasn't a real mustache, was it? If I look tired, it's because I am, because I've got this beautiful. You look at look at him. Isn't he adorable? Actually, it's a she, and I love her, and she's trying to sleep on my lap, but man, alive. <laughs> Taking care of a puppy sucks. Kill me. Uh, no, but seriously, it's it's an absolute blast having her around. I'm going to have another video that'll show her off more justly in another... So, crazy stuff is afoot here, folks, because we finally have 5,000... Bow rank! I know that that took like a million zillion years to actually end up getting done, like man alive, seriously. Can you stop sniffing the controller, Sweetums? For two seconds, can you just let me record? It's so difficult because she's so curious about everything, right? Uh, so anyways, let's let's go and get our class, uh, our class gem ability for the candy bar. It is about time, it is only on the console version, of course. And it's five zillion years, like, way too late. I, uh, those spikes in the river that don't really hurt you that much, even though they act like they do. Oh, and if you didn't end up checking out that free salt shaker mount, in that same video I talked about the release date of the Shadow Tower 2.0 update, aka the Eclipse update, and yes, to uh, address a lot of your concerns, the update is going to be hitting on consoles and PC. So we're all getting the update all at once, which is good because if you've been keeping up with the videos and stuff, uh, we got a little bit worried there because the devs kind of started to say that the uh, Shadow Tower update might hit at a later date on consoles. So it's good that they ended up uh, kind of clarifying that it's just going to be a general release, right? I wish that these um, arenas, get out of here. There's so many bugs too. I wish these arenas would actually like generate with four doors instead of just one entrance. Like seriously, they were not thinking when they designed this area like at all, other than just adding all these cool enemies. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, so I'm pretty much reliant on everybody else right now. I'm not gonna lie, uh, because otherwise here goes all of our flasks in like two seconds flat. In fact, we're having one flask drain per hit. Where is the skill involved in this game? <laughs> And another thing, too, that I ended up finally realizing uh, is that because the Megalithic update ended up hitting, remember I kept making all those promises talking about how I was going to end up giving away uh, costume codes? Well, now we actually can, so I'm going to be giving away three Mario, Mario, and Luigi Mario. That's a reference to the Mario movie. If you don't know, I reference it a lot with my brother. So I'll be giving away three of the Atmos costume by my good friend B underscore yellow and a huge shout out to him for actually giving me those codes a while back. I'm tapping the jump button. We're just not jumping. So all you got to do to qualify is I humbly ask you to hit that like button and leave a comment in the comment section down below. And you'll most likely end up getting a reply from my good friend Nintendo Gamer because he helps me out with all that so that I can focus on just reading the comments and stuff like like that. Okay, seriously? Is this already done? Yeah, it is. All right, well then, abracadabra. Did we get a good one? Of course we didn't. Of course our first class gem would be like a trash one. Our first and only, I didn't even have, it's ridiculous. I didn't, why do I have explosive epilogue? That must be just for power rank. Um, <clears throat> I, I didn't even have any, um, any, any class gem keys. Uh, I only just luckily, like I had 5k PR for maybe a week, and then I was just slowly getting my empowered gem boxes up until I could finally end up actually getting a class gem key. Now, maybe I could have actually crafted them out of the fragments. I honestly didn't even check. I don't really care. Even though that gem update is going to be hitting in later of August, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so what did I need to do? I needed to get myself some regeminators or whatever they're called, right? Oh my goodness gracious, like seriously, come on. Let's just do it. No, not those. I need two of these, please. I hope, yeah, okay, we do actually have enough cubits because otherwise I was getting a little worried there that we might, oh, random roll that we might not have actually had enough. Okay, let's get rid of this one. No, I want to get rid of it. Unable to socket this jet. No, I'm trying to unsocket it. What's the button? There we go. They actually have like custom buttons for all this stuff. Weird. And let's give ourselves the scoop and gloop, which is critical hit and physical. 
kind of gross, honestly speaking. Um, let's see, can we actually level this one up a little bit? Oh, we can, kind of. I've got a couple clovers, but that's pretty much it. <laughs> can we get it to level 5 at least? That's what I would like to see. Just so that we can see what that other ability is going to end up being, right? Come on, there we go, perfect, and it's max health, which is disgusting. Okay, so if you don't already know, folks, which I'm sure most of you already have seen my tutorials, uh, but the classroom ability for the Candy Barb changes his leap into a... Whoops, that's the wrong button. Changes his leap into a pull very similar to the Revenant's uh, ultimate ability, except it's got less range and is a little bit better just because of the fact that you can cast it more often, right? So let's head over into U6, even though we're, we're probably going to have to go through the club. Okay, lost connection. I love this game. We're probably going to have to go through the club world at some point soon again, just kind of a world tour thing. Um, but another thing too, like today, today I don't really honestly have that much to talk about, um, other than, yeah, it, it legit has just been a treat, but it's also been a lot to try and take care of this new puppy, right? Like, I, I have a very tough time recording in general, uh, let alone, like, trying to keep up with my recordings now that I have this puppy, like, sitting on my lap all awkwardly and stuff, and my cats are all jealous, and they don't really know what to do or think with her, right? Uh, but it's, 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 it's awesome, because I've always wanted a pug. Oh my goodness gracious. And, yeah, the other thing, too, that if you didn't already catch it, uh, in the post on the forums that was talking about the Shadow Tower update, they did hint at some of the new things that were going to be coming around with the club update. The club update is going to be following shortly after, shortly, I say, even though it's probably going to be a couple months, shortly after the uh, Shadow Tower update. So it's the update afterwards that the devs are already working on because the Shadow Tower update is done. They, they just got converted over to actually working out on console and stuff like that. And oh man, we are going to be getting like, there's going to be so many things that I'm going to be grinding on that. Uh, and not only that, but there's also still a whole bunch of tutorial videos and stuff like that that I do still have to do on a lot of the new gear. But a lot of it is time-gated, if you didn't already know. Like, there's the Divinity costumes, which are from Divinity Souls. Divinity Souls are just Lunar Souls, but nobody has them right now. So, in that regard, the game kind of is forcing even players like myself who have been playing the game for a million zillion years. It's not rewarding us for playing the game for a million zillion years. It's actually uh, kind of punishing us and making us play the game, uh, you know, verbatim having to grind Shadow Tower Daughter of the Moon over and over and over again. And Daughter hasn't changed one bit. Shadow Towers themselves have gotten a complete overhaul, which is absolutely beautiful. And despite the fact that the devs keep saying over and over, no, Shadow Tower, uh, you know, Daughter of the Moon is still the final boss. We all know that the Dreadnought's the real boss that everyone's excited about. Like, seriously, that boss is the coolest in the game. Even Hydra is okay. I mean, half of its body is stuck inside the wall, but most of all, uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is that when that update ends up coming out, which of course is still a couple weeks, if not an entire month away anyways from this video, but I I'm going to be spending a lot of my time on the PC version of Trove when that comes out. Not that I don't want to play on the console version or anything like that, but I don't really, you know, I've always been honest about that, where I don't main the console, you know? Uh, it's not like I have that much incentive to actually grind on the console. I just kind of play it with the fans. It was just so that there could be a, a good, positive, clean community for all of you to hang out in. And, uh, you know, that said, I want to start showing up a lot more just randomly appearing online and just hanging out and everything like that for sure when my time actually allows me to do that because otherwise there are so many other projects going on behind the backgrounds uh, like seriously you don't even know I got the merch store coming around the corner I got some deal signed up with Sony and a little bit of a Warner Bros thing it's not really as epic as it sounds I just want it to sound cooler than it is um, and then also just all of the VR games and most of all the research that's that's the big thing like whenever I talk about like stuff going on behind the scenes most of all it's always just me uh, working on uh, refining the channel because that takes a lot of thought uh, on my part anyways just because I'm kind of refining myself as a person I guess and then on top of that just researching all the new games coming out listening to the community uh, you know all you guys and gals in the comments and everybody in the discord and stuff like that and just trying to get a general sense of what it is that people actually want to see on the channel because you all come first for me you know even though I don't like 
you all come first in terms of what I'm actually creating my content for. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't mean like, cause, cause someone might argue, uh, I can already hear it in the back of my head right now, somebody saying, well if we come first, how come you never play with me? And it's like, uh, you know, Adapt or die. Like that's that's pretty much like one of my like uh, phrases that I tell myself all the time because I am an older person, uh, you know, an older individual as far as like my content and everything like that is concerned. I'm not like that old. I'm not in my 30s yet, but it's like with all of that, like with me being older and kind of uh, you know having a lot of habits that. I started with in YouTube and started with in the early stages of my videos and stuff like that and even now I still have a lot of my habits that I'm trying to break because adapt or die you know this is where the community is going and it doesn't matter whether or not I'm going to sit there and be stubborn and say no this is a part of who I am this is my identity you know and it's like I'm, I'm me, don't get me wrong, but it's like, no, I can, I can, I can do what the people, that's my Bane impersonation, I know it sucks. No, I can do what the people want me to do. I haven't even done this Uggles quest yet. I don't think I'm even going to get the chance. I carumba, there's so many people dancing around me. But yeah, I just wanted to give you a heads up, folks. Most of all, just kind of touch base with life stuff and just say that I don't know why he's attacking. I mean, I sure as heck didn't end up hitting the right trigger. Um, but just kind of, you know, catch you all up to what's actually going on. Most of all, it's just all of the research, not only just with like the new games and stuff like that that I want to start playing on the channel for sure. But on top of that, you know, having a puppy is a full-time gig right now uh, also trying to go out and socialize a lot more I actually got a couple vlog videos that I'm trying to prepare right around the corner as well I love how I love how like I have since adopted that and I'm not even being sarcastic where I say a right around the corner now if you don't already know folks if you're just tuning in the a right around the corner uh, is kind of like an inside joke if not a meme uh, between a lot of the trovers just because the uh, megalithic update when the devs were talking about a release date they said it was right around the corner which is not a release date at all and then the funny thing is then it released that following week and it was like then why didn't you just tell us that you know it's just it was just weird you know but you know thankfully they've given us like a full solid date for the actual shadow tower update and even then like i you know take what i say with a grain of salt because i'm just teasing towards them i'm not like hating on like oh no they can't get their facts straight or anything like that you know it's not a drama channel for crying out loud uh but in any case i gotta rush this video out to all of you today actually so thank you so much for watching uh very much appreciate it the dog is like freaking on my lap i know you're not used to my commentary yet you will be young child don't worry you will have a fantastic day everybody good luck to the people that end up winning the atmos costume sayonara and stay epic